Hello, my beautiful friends. I hope you're doing well today. So today I'm gonna do a little bit of a bubble bang style, which is sort of like harkens back to the 1980s when I would do what they call Barbie bangs, which is like curly bangs, but sort of bubbled out. Um, my hair, I probably every time you see me, my hair is a different length. So um, in a few videos back, I showed a really long style and then I cut my hair myself, my last video, um, gave myself a trim and it's growing out again. So I've got about a medium length pixie right now. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blow dry my hair, just very simply, nothing special. Um, and then I'm going to use my pencil flat iron. I'm gonna give this a try to see if I can achieve what I'm hoping to. So here goes. Let's start by getting some volume spray on my hair. My favorite volume spray to use is Verb. So Verb volume spray. And I always use this, I use it every day. I just spray it on my hair after I get out of my shower and it really does a lot, like it's crazy. Um, the difference between using this and not using this. So here goes. I like to put a generous amount on. Okay, so here goes. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to use just a round brush while I blow dry my hair. And by the way, upcoming video, I just splurged on a new hair dryer. It's not here yet. Um, I got the Baby Bliss brand, so um, which was rated the number one hair dryer brand to try, um, best overall. So that's coming up in a week. But until then, I'm gonna use my old faithful uh, blow dryer that I currently have. And um, we will, um, like I said, I'm not gonna do anything special here. The only thing I might do is take the round brush at the very um, crown of my hair and kind of pop it out in the back here. So let's do this. Okay, my hair is feeling really good and it's like kind of like a good canvas to work from here. So let's see if we can get this turned on. This is a just a really cheap brand of uh, pencil flat iron. Um, this is the Turbix brand. I believe I got this from Amazon. There are a lot of, you can get these for about 20 bucks. I don't use this very often, but it is really helpful, particularly if you have a really short pixie. But I'm gonna try to do this, uh, do some curling with this. Basically what I'd like to do is curl and straighten at the same time. So what I'm gonna try to do is take this and it's not hot yet, but take this and start at the base. Oh, it's already getting hot. 
So my plan is to take this, start from the root, pull it through in a straight motion. And then when I start getting towards middle of the strand, I'm gonna start rotating this around, not real tightly, just kind of gently. And what it'll do is it'll sort of make a curl like that. So that is my plan. All right, so I need a good comb. While I'm getting my hair ready here, I can give you an update on what's been going on with me. We have been in the throes of flu. So my parents that live next door, they got influenza A, it's been about a month now. Um, and then I helped take care of them, went over like three or four times a day and made sure they were okay and they had everything they need. They had food and medicine. And and I wore a mask every time I went over there, but some somehow or some way, my husband got it next. And then I was just sleeping in bed with him and then I got it. And so four of us had a really bad flu. I'm not even kidding, it was worse than when I got COVID. And I've had COVID three times, but whoo, I hope you don't get the flu this year. And if you do, please take care. And the other big news is my mom got a puppy and I'll be sharing some footage of that soon, but it's a little Westie pup, a Westland Highland Terrier. And she's so, so, so precious. So I will include some pictures soon of my mom's new puppy, Bella. So here goes, let's do this. So, I'm gonna take sections. So I still kind of like this little side part here. So I'm gonna keep that part going, but I'm gonna start by taking little sections of hair, starting back here. So what you can see is it's kind of, it's puffing up a lot of the volume and it's not making a real tight curl because I'm doing it carefully. I have used this before and not done the end properly and what you'll end up with is a weird little frizzy mess at the end. Now what I'd like to do, let's try this. job with the curls here. Ooh, it gave me tight little curls there. the curls, how it came sort of under the top here. Sometimes I start with one vision in mind and it comes out totally different and that's what's so fun about hair. little dog sounds back there that is my daughter's dog Cappy and he likes to be on video so he's making a showing 
Now let's do some on the back. I'm gonna turn around so you can see what I'm doing. And I can't see what I'm doing, so we're gonna hope for the best here. So I'm going to try to do some flip ups of this hair down here. Oh my gosh, this is adorable. Absolutely adorable. Okay, so I really don't want to tussle this too much. I don't want to comb it all through because I think it would ruin what I've got going here. So I am not going to do that. Instead, I'm going to spray my hair with hairspray and then just sort of scrunch it a little bit. Love it. What do you guys think? This came out completely surprising to me. I thought it was going to be much more like flat and just turned under, but I think I'm going to start using this pencil flat iron more, especially with the longer pixie because I mean, how cute is that? It is adorable. So if you have a pencil flat iron, give this style a try. This is super cute. It's vintage looking. It complements the face by sort of framing the face around. And don't be afraid not to sort of go deep under the bangs like this if you have longer bangs like I do, because look how awesome it curled. So I'm a big fan of this hairstyle. I'm gonna do this again. I hope you give it a try too. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and comment down below. Tell me what you liked about it. Give it a try and we'll see you next week.